Hi, hockey fans. I'm going to give my uh, take on the um, situation that happened with the Nashville Predators in 2007. Um, we had been bounced in the first round by San Jose after putting together a, a fantastic team. We were actually in the running for the Central Division at one point and definitely were top of the NHL at one point as well. Um, we uh, after that season, we thought, okay, well, we'll just reload and do it again. Unfortunately, the then owner of the Predators, Craig Leopold, had decided to sell the team because he was losing too much money. Uh, he wanted to get out, and a certain Jim Bustilli, who was now the former CEO of BlackBerry, Research in Motion, um, offered to buy the team with the caveat that he could move the team wherever he wanted to. Um, which was primarily Hamilton. Of course, Canadian Canadian fans and traditionalists were ecstatic over this prospect of getting a second team in Ontario um, near Toronto and um, that it would be a success and they would sell out and everything would be hunky-dory. And nobody really took into account the passion of the fans here in Nashville. When the word got out that this was a possibility, the fans mobilized. We um, Folks spearheaded a group of fans that sold t-shirts and sweatshirts that said Save the Predators. The proceeds went to buying tickets um, to give to charity. We had a group of businessmen in the city um, connected that said, you know what, we're not going to lose this team. And in fact, one of the uh, radio sports guys, George Plaster, um, who is not particularly a hockey fan, but felt it was very... Um, bad for the city to lose the team also spearheaded and this culminated in a rally to save our team. Now granted it wasn't as big as the one in Winnipeg um, when they originally tried to save uh, the Jets franchise um, but it was it was powerful and in fact our uh, mayor at the time, our governor at the time were there and uh, there's a classic picture that's in our arena now of um, then Governor Bredesen and his wife holding up a sign that says, get your hands, damn hands off my team. And so we basically said, no, you're not going to have our team. And a group of businessmen, local businessmen, stepped forward and were able to purchase the team and keep it in Nashville. Um, since then, our fan base has grown, and we are currently on pace to have... Um, one of the highest attendance, highest attendances in our history, um, and it just goes to show the power of the fans. Um, a lot of times we feel like we're powerless, we can't do anything, but in this circumstance, we were able to take hold of the situation, mobilize, and get in there and and take care of of what we felt was ours, um, and still is ours today. You know, down here, the team is is part of your family. They're not gods, they're not those guys, they're our brothers, our sons, our cousins, our nephews, husbands, fathers, they are our guys and we will stand up for them every chance we get. Um, and that is something that, you know, a lot of fans will do. They will criticize their team internally to other fans, but you attack the, another team's fan and attack them, they will stand up and say, you leave my team alone. So um, again, the passion of the fans and the dedication is uh, truly something to be celebrated. So please consider sending a video in or um, getting a hold of you know, one of us or through YouTube, either myself or Darren, um, and letting us tell your story as well. Thanks a lot.